will actually come down. Everything turns. Yep. The collection is about early automotive innovation when it comes to engineering. Welcome to Barry T's Garage. Good to have you back. We're in Pinellas Park, Florida, which is in the Tampa Bay area. And we're looking forward to showing you some amazing cars, some very unique and innovative engineering that has been carefully collected over many years, many of them from Europe. You're in for a treat. All right, I'm here with Olivier Cerf. And Olivier, you have a, just a, an amazing collection of cars here. And the, uh, some of these cars seem to have been around a long time, like even longer than you almost. <laughs> Why don't you tell me about the history of the museum here and, and your interest in it? Yeah, so basically it started uh, really in 1957 with my father uh, not having enough money and buying his first car out of a police auction. And then he bought four of them like that and never sold them, uh, you know, and then because he liked engineering. And, then he came uh, to the U.S. in 1982. In 1984, the cars, the, those four cars came here. And then, you know, it started where one day he bought a, a sleeve engine car, you know, the, the, the night patent. And we didn't know what a sleeve engine was. And, you know, and so, you know, we, we learned about it. And then we started collecting cars about engineering, you know, front wheel drive pre-war cars from, from the, 1920s uh, rear engine rear wheel drive like but Mercedes like nobody knows that Mercedes did rear engine cars and then the Tatras and and then we just you know focus always on engineering so that when someone comes here they'll uh, see something different that they've never seen before that you know usually I always say probably 80% of the cars you've never seen you know so which is the fun part about it so mm -hmm. you know you you're not, you you won't see a Corvette or Ferrari, not that they're bad cars at all, but it's just because we're focused really on engineering and what really started in engineering back in early tens, like the electric car, like, you know, the Owens magnetic, you know, hybrid really, right. you know, gasoline generator, electric motor and so forth, you know, or, and air cool cars, right? So there's always different types of engineering and people try different ways of building cars because Back then, it was also a lot easier to start a car company uh, than it is today. Today, it's impo almost impossible if you don't have huge backing. Right. Uh, back then, you could be a small company and, and be inventive and, and try different ideas. So, mm -hmm. so, yeah, so that's what we did. And, uh, you know, now, you know, I always say the collection is almost done, but I discovered something new. Like, you know, well, the last one is the Elmore. Elmore is a 1910 four cylinder two stroke engine us uh who i did not know that three years ago that the us made four cylinder two stroke cars right you know and uh but they did so that's you know that's the fun part also about discovering different technology different engineers that people didn't know even existed or i didn't know so we keep learning um what you know about engineering of our automobile so I right. can't tell you the next car because I probably have never heard of it before. <laughs> right. you know? You're going to learn about it. it yes. Now, so. why don't you t tell me a little bit about your crew because you uh, have a crew here that is doing restorations seemingly constantly or ongoing. Right, yes. And uh, a lot of people don't have that going on. Right, so yeah, so the, the, the crew, we have three person, a crew. We have a mechanic, we have a body, and we have interior. Okay, and uh, so we're able to restore, keep the cost down on restoration of cars, okay? Mm -hmm. But you know, the museum is supported by our company next door, Polypack, which we make packaging equipment, okay. shrink wrapping equipment, and it helps support this crazy hobby and be able to show this collection to the public. Uh, without Polypack, this, you know, would not be possible because of course it's, you know, it takes a lot, you know, sure. to, to, to do and, and then to keep them running and learning. And so, yeah. well, it's quite a commitment and it's actually a real generosity to the car hobby for someone like you to have the commitment to show them, to keep them clean, to keep them running, to be restoring the next project. I mean, that's hats off to you for that and your family. 
Uh, thank you. You know, that's just we're lucky we can do it, you know, and hopefully we'll keep going for years and years. Right on. You know, that's what Daniel here, our, our uh, director, is here for. I'm very <laughs> glad. I was glad to meet Daniel. He's been doing a great job and so. uh, showing me around. So thank you so much for your time. You're welcome. Thanks okay. for coming. Okay, you got it.